So how long does it take to make each like individual animated film? Well, I'm working mainly on my own, um, mm. which is not the best way to work because it just takes so long. Like um, Dreamlands took me about four, I think it was four months, and it's a hand-drawn animation, so I was drawing everything. Um, every frame. So you drew the whole thing? Yeah, I drew the whole thing okay. in four months, which is, um, I, uh, it was working 12 hours a day, sometimes longer, just to have it done because I had a deadline for it because it was a college film. Mm. Um, Providence took less time because it was computer and it took, I think it took two months in total, so it was much, much, uh, much shorter, but um, it's completely different. Well, it's a different technique, so yeah. it is quicker. So for Providence, it's more of like a music video, and mm -hmm. uh, as well as Dreamlands. Do you sort of start with your story and then you add sound at the end, or did you start with the the song and then you thought, okay, so should I write a story to this song? Um, it started with with Dreamlands. It was it's always first is the first is so the song yeah. and it kind of sparks up an idea to do something and with Dreamlands it was um, Dreamlands is just a part of a really long song and that part I thought it was very very intense and very interesting so I used it and made a story based on that and with Provenance um, it's a song for someone I was asked to do this by an artist who is part of the band who, who, who did Dreamlands so we're kind of working together. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> so the animation style is quite consistent between the two. And do you really sort of uh, did you like develop that style, or is it sort of inspired from somewhere else? I think because um, a lot of people say that I, I I have a style and I can't see it. Like I, I can't really see it. <laughs> but it's probably I'm not really looking very well. But um, I think uh, I think it just develops over time. I'm not trying to. To be like someone else, or in being inspired by someone, but obviously, when you look at something, it creeps into your work at some point, probably. Do you find any other animators in particular that you aspire to, or? Well, there's a few that I really, really look 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 up to, but um, they don't. I say they don't influence my work because one of my favorite animators, David O'Reilly, uh, he did um, the External World, which is something I completely different to what I do. Yet I still. I still really like, uh, I like his works, and I do like Michael Pleaser's uh, work, the Eagle and Stag, and maybe that's close to what I do, but... Okay. Yep. Um, always been interested in making more animated films, or do you ever think you could make, or would you like to make, sort of live-action films? I was thinking about live-action. Um, actually, I think, I'm thinking about it now for the next project I want to do. But, um, I've realised that I'm, I'm not very comfortable with li live action, so there's, there has to be a lot of practice, but I, I am considering it. But I feel more comfortable with animation because you control everything, yeah. and um, you, so can, if, you can do anything. <laughs> if you made feature films, would you be more concerned that you would have to include other people in the filmmaking? I'd, I'd be really worried other people would not um, <laughs> work well with, it, with, with what I want to do, but you, with working with other people, you have to let the like you have to be... Uh, you have to you have to compromise a lot, which sometimes is a better thing than you know go you go you, you want to do something like I want it this way and you don't listen to anyone. Sometimes compromise is a better better thing. And uh, do you always think you'll make short films, or do you hope at some point you'll go into making feature films? I would love to make a feature feature film at some point just for the experience. I'm mm. sure it must be really tiring because if you're working on one thing for about you know four or five months, it exhausts you so much. Um, but I I definitely would love to try it at some point. Okay. For um, the Dreamlands film, um, it's a lot more. It's a lot darker than your the other piece. Is there something that inspired you to make it, or um, like what? How did it come about being so different from your other piece? Mm. With Dreamlands, it was. I think it was all about the song. The song. If you listen to the whole thing, it's just really depressing and really dark yeah. and really kind of heavy. And I think that was the main thing, and I wasn't like my my moods are not very. <laughs> I, I was um, I was a bit sad, I guess. Um, but with Dreamland, uh, with the provenance, I decided to make something slightly happier, and maybe I was aiming for a wider audience so mm. people can send it because not many people can understand Dreamlands. Well, not the all well, depends. Sometimes it's just like, oh, why 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 did the fox have to die? It's like, Is it, it make makes sense? <laughs> intended it all to be religious. Oh no. Um, not really, uh, okay. but because I use symbolism in my work, yeah. and you have to be—I think you have to be consistent with symbolism. And I, I just decided to focus on one that's very European, and that's mainly Christian. Mm. So I think I think that's 
not by accident, but it, it makes some sense to use that. Yeah. Um, and if anyone else was trying to sort of get into making short films, what would be your advice to them? Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go for it, but be careful. It's something, it takes, you have to be patient. Like with animation, you have to be patient. It takes a long time um, to get something done that you're happy with. But um, it's definitely worth a try. Do you have any plans for the future? Like, where are you going now? Uh, I'm currently doing master's course in animation. Um, so currently, I'm doing short projects, really short ones. But I might be doing a music video. I'm not sure yet. Uh, which should come out in April, maybe if I do it. <laughs> and after that, I'm doing my final graduation film. So that's going to be next year. So it's sort of <laughs> planned. Very busy then. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Do you hope that when you finish your degree you'll come out of it and you'll continue to work for yourself or do you hope that you'll end up sort of getting a job in a mm. larger company? I'm sort of hoping for both. Uh, I, would, I, I want to do my own films but I think it's really difficult to get all the funding and get people to work for you and just organising it really but um, I, I, would like, I would like to work for someone as well so I guess one thing at a time. Depends what happened really. <laughs>